Thank you for watching my tutorial. My name is Claude15 from the Tutor Expansion Forums. Um, the tutorial that I'll be teaching you today would be list box saving. And what that is, is we're going to save information from a list box into a text file located on your computer. This tutorial was requested by Vincent Tosh. Hopefully I said that right. Um, you'll be seeing programs and uh, tutorials on my forums a lot quicker than uh, YouTube of course. So let's begin on creating this list box saver. First gonna add a list box to the form and then a button. Resize the list box and then resize the button as, as whatever you want. Click on the button once and change the name to save. Click on the list box once and go to the top right corner, the arrow, click on that then click on edit items and add whatever random stuff you want to add there because I'm bored so once you're done with that double click your save button and this is where the coding begins for i equals zero to list box one dot items dot count minus one. Basically, the i is a variable, a, an integer actually, and this is basically saying that i is uh, going to go through list box all the all the um list box values or items. I'm sorry. The next line of code will be list box list box one dot Set selected I true. This line right here is going to tell the program for every item that I passes through to select that one item. Yeah, it's weird code. <laughs> the next item, is, uh, the next code will be creating the text file. So dim var var being you know whatever you want to write as new system dot io dot stream writer and we're gonna write it uh in our current directory the current place that this program is located and we're gonna add that quotation and that slash we're gonna put test dot txt at the end of that a comma and set the true Basically, this line, this this true right here, is going to uh, keep on adding to the file. It will never delete that text file. And then we're gonna keep on writing the next line of code, which is var dot write line this box one dot items i. Bar dot close. This right line is uh it's going to write everything that the i is going to be on, the value that i is going to be on. And this right here closes that text file, therefore you won't have an error at all. But if you want to be more secure, press enter, type try, press enter again, and these three lines of codes, put them in there. And save your project. This is my debug folder. As you can see, I have no uh, text file. If you press play, you'll still see I don't have any test, uh, text file. If you press save, you can see how it moved down. And you'll see that it is saved here. So, yeah. Hope you liked my, uh, I think, my 11th tutorial. And I will be coming out with um, lots of new tutorials like downloading with a progress bar and lots more I just can't think of them right now because I'm really nervous so yeah I hope you like my tutorial I hope you rate and comment and I hope you register in the forums have fun